The creators of the cemetery treated the entire grounds as a symbolic mass grave. Viewed from a distance, it seems to be a flat space. It is not until we are close that we notice that it has the shape of a burial mound surrounded by a wall. This wall constitutes a symbolic boundary between our world and the earth anointed with the blood of the victims. The burial mound is encircled by a ribbon of plaques paying homage to each of the victims by name. Their arrangement into rows constitutes an allusion to the callous treatment of their bodies, having been cast into the death pits layer upon layer. Apart from their names, the plaque's inscriptions contain the victim's military rank, date and place of birth, as well as their occupations before being called up for service in the Polish army in August 1939. The rusty red hue which runs through the grounds of the cemetery is the color of dried blood. It is also the color of the rust found on the buttons of uniforms uncovered during the exhumation of the mass graves. Four upright cast iron plates display the symbols of Catholicism and Protestantism, Orthodox Christianity, Judaism and Islam. Buried in the earth of Katyn are members of each of these religious affiliations. With a decree issued on the 11th of November 1976, Stanisław Ostrowski, the president of the Polish government in exile, collectively decorated the Polish soldiers murdered at Katyn and other execution sites with the September Campaign Cross and the Virtuti Militari, Poland's highest military decoration. During this time, the communist authorities in Poland persecuted and oppressed all those who dared speak the truth about Katyn. <laughs> 